welcome to the 1996 State League Grand Final live at Suncorp Stadium where Redcliffe and Toowoomba play for supremacy in the inaugural year of the Queensland Cup. And so it all comes down to this, the Grand Final of the Queensland Cup and what a terrific battle we have coming up this afternoon with Redcliffe taking on Toowoomba. It's the country against the city. You couldn't want for a better Grand Final. Two teams that have been in sparkling form and so what a wonderful conclusion to what has been a fantastic competition, one that we've certainly enjoyed covering uh, throughout this rugby league season. We're going to have a very polarised crowd. The uh, people coming down from the Downs and from uh, Redcliffe City should be a great game. I think the Clydesdales can win it. Yes, a good crowd has turned up as well for this grand final and the team's about to come out and here they come. The Toowoomba Clydesdales, they've brought a bit of their weather with them too, I think, because it's a bit breezy and a little cool here at Lang Park. Possibility of a bit of rain, and uh, Wally Fuller and Smith won't be looking forward to that. But uh, David, looking at this um, at this Toowoomba side, and Donnie Saunders, he's led them so very well. As you said, there's a doubt over his fitness. Uh, he he uh, had a shoulder injury last week, and what a great job Mick Jenkins has done at hooker as well. And here is the Dolphins. Ian Graham leads them out. The Dolphins who were here two years ago to win the Brisbane Premiership. They had a bit of a hiccup last year. They fancy their chances this afternoon. Wally Fullard and Smith and myself were down at the uh, grand final breakfast this morning. And they are very, very confident, the Dolphins. I think their squad of 17, Jerry, when you look at them, and you really need to then have a look at their uh, their bench. From Graham Cotter, James Hinchy, Bevan Canning and Cameron Hurran. Any one of those four players, or all four, would make a first grade side in most other clubs. So it's a very, very strong squad of 17. And of course, John Boxall has got those at his disposal with unlimited interchange. And as we look, look forward to the kickoff, I think it'll be a great match. Certainly will. So it's uh, a reasonably strong breeze, and Toowoomba will be running with it in the opening uh, in the opening half as Vol takes it up almost to the 20 metre line. And so the Toowoomba Clydesdales ready to see if they can win this first ever Queensland Cup and what a terrific uh, performance it will be if they are able to do that and reflecting the wonderful rugby league traditions of the Downs they have produced so many good rugby league players over the years 19 minutes in the match so far nil all is the score Robinson out to Gould lets a couple go out to O'Reilly O'Reilly lets one go back on the inside good sliding defence though but O'Reilly bounce away from all that crosses down the ground Line. Now the big fellow in here, grab his right arm. They didn't need that, the Dolphins. A little bit of a punch up on uh, Sutton as well. And oh, to get in there. Now Sutton, this is interesting. After the whistle has blown, and I reckon the penalty was always going to go to um, to Toowoomba here. When the whistle went, Sutton said, well, I've got nothing to lose. And he threw a couple. I felt it was totally unnecessary. And he's gone, hello. Ten minutes. This is a vital decision by Paul Oliver, yeah. and that vindicates the decision for Graham to go. It certainly does. With two players in the bin, one from each side. Ken Scott for Canada. At the first points, I think he's hit it pretty well. He's got the first points of the grand final. The Clydesdales lead by two points to nil, with 17 minutes to go up to half time. At a half time, and they kick the field goal to make it 3 2. Donnie Saunders now charging through the defence. He's got support there. The pass away and the kick inside by, uh, by Peter Stenner and Redcliffe clean up. And over the underneath with O'Reilly and Robinson. This time Lawson, the flat pass to Carlton. What a tackle. He's up again, tries to go further but can't. Gill made the tackle. If they can get out to the left, they'll score. Lawson drives the dummy, tries to step on the side. Lawson's in. Sean Lawson scores the try. In the urgency to get wide, the Toowoomba Clydesdales, through Sean Lawson, realise the dummy might be a chance. The defence went one way because they had to. They were desperate and Lawson straightened the score. Lawson's option here. You probably, you, know, you can't see all the players, but there are Toowoomba players all lined out there. He thought of a good long pass. Step back inside Danny Nutley and all of a sudden the gates were open. It was like the harbour bridge and underneath that he went. Sean Lawson picks up the first try of the grand final to give them that special buffer. Moves in Scott Kuhneman. Chips it straight down, down the middle. And the Clydesdales have snuck out to an eight points to nil lead. 
and there's been 10 minutes of this second half. They're looking for, they're only 30 metres out. Graham Connor, off, able to offload across to Tweedy. He keeps it going from Gould out to Shipway. Shipway accelerating. Up to the corner he goes, he'll score! Shipway goes in for Redcliffe. And the grand final is wide open again. It's eight points to four. Toowoomba leading, but Redcliffe are back in the grand final. Well, I said this kid could play Mark Shipway. He played in the Colts with Redcliffe. He came there as a Colt. I think he's originally from uh, New South Wales country. Score is 8-4. It's a try apiece. Let's have another look at it. Kahu Tweedy, good. Uh, they did well to keep the hands alive, uh, the ball alive. Shipway out to... Uh, and then he just had Lawson opposite him, stood him up nicely. Hamlin was caught a little bit unawares by the pace and the stride of Mark Shipway. He scoots away. 8-4. Again, Tony Gould get the extra two points. Certainly, uh, of course, Redcliffe has such terrific pace. Tony Gould's attempt looks pretty good. Over the back it goes. And so there are just two points in the grand final. Toowoomba 8, Redcliffe 6. We've got just 10 minutes left in the match. Under nine minutes to go in the grand final. The whole season hangs off this. Donnie Saunders puts a beautiful pass up to the big front row and Kate Spicer back on the inside to Richards. Beautiful pass by Saunders. This time Toowoomba had better get back the required distance as it goes to Gould. Gould going by himself, getting it nicely back inside the Tweedy. Back to Robinson, no support there. Robinson will score! Robinson will score. He's just short. He's just short. Six tackle it was two. Peter Robinson, the legs wouldn't go fast enough for him. Who made the tackle? Carl Warren is down there exhausted. So is Peter Stenner. He's come down. Let's have another look. Peter Robinson also lost the ball. What a tackle. Carl Warren. Peter Stenner, who I was critical of in the first half. I take everything back, Peter. You've, uh, you've been there when it counted. Attack. Why would Sutton hurry? Let's have another look. It's Cameron Over Hurran. the try line. Cameron Hurran. Oh, just couldn't put it down. Oh. Running short of time. They got the Huda. Toowoomba have won. The referee is called time off. It's full time. Celebrations on the downs. Toowoomba and Gary Lawrence, the coach. The Toowoomba Clydesdales have won the first Queensland Cup in a ripper of a grand final by eight points to six. Just two points between the two teams. What a competition, what a finale, and what celebrations there'll be now for this Toowoomba team. And just looking at them, Hamblin there, terrific game. Russell Bowl, Mickey Jenkins, the boys from the bush, they've done it by two points. But I must now invite the captain of Toowoomba, Don Saunders, to, Don Saunders, to come up and receive the trophy for the inaugural Channel 9 Queensland Cup. Well done, Don. half-time break. In the second half, despite major injuries, they were able to last it through and in the end get on top of Weston, come through to again meet Redcliffe in the grand final. And with memories of that loss two weeks earlier, they've been able to come through with a magnificent grand final performance in a tough, hard decider. And there's the trophy, the Queensland Cup, the first ever Queensland Cup, and Don Saunders, who certainly deserves to be especially proud of his team. It's a great moment for them, a wonderful moment for the uh, Toowoomba players. David, we'll see, that, we'll see that try in just a moment, but there the, uh, the Toowoomba players celebrating. But I'm just sort of wondering whether you've gone up to uh, Wally and said, I told you so yet. Yeah. No, well, I haven't been game to uh, Jerry. Uh, Wally's obviously uh, disappointed for his side, but I, I think everyone recognises, and the Redcliffe people as well, what a great grand final we've had here. Uh, a lot of the supporters, as we can see there, have stayed around to acknowledge the achievements right. of this uh, Clydesdale side. And, and it just can't be underestimated the fact they've come down from the country first season in so-called the big league and they've won it.